Hi and welcome to this video where we're going to take a look at creating accounting for a recording. Now this is often needed where uh, if you're recording, let's say a cover version of a song and you need accounting for your drummer or whoever starts the song to come in first. Now obviously there's two elements to this. Firstly it needs to be at the right tempo but also it needs to be properly synchronised and in phase with the, the music you've got. So we're just going to look at how you do that. So here I've got a track uh, which is got a completely different tempo to the default one on Cubase. So we get the idea there. So we're going to look at how we can get Cubase and it to be in tempo. Because if we turn Cubase's click on, you will hear quite clearly there's no rel relation between the two whatsoever. So they don't even start at the same time. So that's the first thing we need to look at. So if we're going to zoom in here, we're going to start the audio. Now, when we listen to this, fortunately, this particular recording starts at the beginning of the bar. If you've got something which maybe the, the player has played a bit of an anacrusis or a you know, counting bar, etc., where they are before the beat, then you're going to want to trim it to the beginning of the first bar proper that you have, and then you'll reinstate that at the end. So... I'm going to turn off snap and then just trim this so it starts at the beginning. Now I'm going to just trim off the very beginning of that because I feel that the timing is actually where that peak is rather than just a bit before. And then I turn snap back on and move that across. So now bar one of Cubase, or bar one beat one of Cubase and of the song are in line with each other. So if we start it now, at least the click, the very first click will be in time. But you can see straight away it goes south from there. So the next thing we want to do is turn the click off and then listen to the song and work out where a whole bar or number of bars is. So if I listen to this, we can hear. So there is where the second bar ends. So that's where bar three should begin. And if you look on the screen, you can see bar three is actually happening much earlier than that. So we want to move this across and the way to do it is with the time warp tool. So we click on the time warp tool and what we do, it's slightly confusing for if the first time you use it because you think, oh, I'm going to drag bar three. But actually you don't drag bar three here, you actually move below it and you can see here that it's snapping to bar three. And to drag it out, I'm going to hold down shift. So we set the default tempo for the song and then drag that across. So now you can see that seems to fit a bit better. And in fact, look in there, bar five is fitting reasonably well, bar four and bar two, they all seem to be doing about the right thing. So now if we go back and turn the click on. It's reasonably in time. It's not perfect, but it's probably good enough for accounting. Okay, so... The next step is to move this across to somewhere suitable. So I'm just going to move this across to bar two because I want a two bar count in. Sorry, bar three because I want a two bar count in. And then just going to add an instrument track with some drum plug in. Doesn't really matter what. There's no need to worry about it at all. So we'll just load up any old uh, GM kit here. So let's just load up. Just straightforward GM kit. And then just program in your drums. So I'm going to pencil in a couple of bars there. And then so our performers have something to listen to. Going to do... Uh... Snare. And then bass drum, bass drum. Snare, bass drum, bass drum, bass drum. And that will be perfectly adequate. So now when we play through, we don't need to have the click on and we don't need to worry about turning it off during a recording, which obviously can always go a bit south. And there you go. Now, at this point, if you had a song which had uh, an anacrusis, so something before the beginning of the first bar proper, you would then trim that back in so you just turn snap off and then trim that back so in this case i haven't got that but if you had something where they were playing a bit before the beginning of that first proper bar you just put that back in and generally that'll be in time 
and allow you to do that. So that's how you can create accounting for an audio track you have that's pre-existing.